immense pressure of people giving me negativity all my life. Yeah. And I think that gave me... Uh, I was becoming a person who hated everyone. Okay. Who hated everything. Yet, a great actor to be where I am. Yes. So, in that transformation of anger, uh, frustration, desperation, I transformed into a completely different person now. Yes. So, I'm, I'm a much more... I would not say approachable because that I was, but I think I was not that uh, easy person. Okay. Because I think uh, I was carrying too much stress in my head. Okay. So the first thing that I don't have is no stress. Yeah. So this is okay. a big change I have. Yes. The other thing that I've also done is the way I cooked. I mean, uh, my cooks, I have started. In fact, I'll just show you some fun thing, okay? Look yeah. here. Yeah. This is my new menu I'm discussing. Okay. Right. This is for the G spot, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. For the whole restaurant. I mean, what we're doing is, if you, if you wait, I'll switch off the uh, switch the. Here, look here. Right here. I can't show you much, but this is the okay. new menu we wrote, scribbled. Today, I'm making a final edit okay. about something that we want to do because I think after COVID, uh, what will happen is uh, food won't be the same the way it is, and we will not be able to. Uh, uh, first of all, there's a financial stress. Yes. So the first thing I'll do is that I will not allow uh, my pricing to be very high. Yes. Okay, that is very important. I don't yes. want the pricing to be too high because if the pricing becomes too high, uh, I think right now for me is to survive the restaurant, not lose my team, pay them, and not look at anything except that. Yes. Survival is very important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Rashmi, yeah, new menu coming for new Gagan. New Anand. menu and the new Gagan. <laughs> Gagan Anand, yeah. Gagan Anand, yeah. And, yeah, so the new menu is something which you're making. Uh, it's a new dish, something that we're drinking. And uh, how do we present that? It's a shorter format because uh, I think until the vaccine is not out, uh, we will not be able to enjoy fine dining with long hours. Yes. So there are two things. Do we discuss this that fine dining will die? Or will restaurants die? Actually, that was my next question. But anyway, we can address it now. Yeah. So it's correlated because fine dining has a very thin line right now. Yes. With, I'm sure every government will come with a bucket list of, of, of rules. Yes. And this is a, a human tragedy that we can't avoid. Yes. So we have to be safe. Our egos have to be in a fucking toilet. Yes. Now... What is very important is that we will, uh, social distancing is important. Yes. You can't have more than four people in a table. I'm just assuming that. And again, those four people cannot be four people who came to meet there, but four from the same family. Yeah. So something like this. The other thing also is that, uh, okay, this is, I'm, I'm seeing these questions. We'll address the questions later. Guys, hang on. Ask the questions when we ask you. I mean, yeah, it distracts yeah. me. Yeah. But uh, what is very important is that uh, I want people to come and enjoy the concert. Yes. yes. Enjoy our, our art, our food. Go back, not empty stomach, because we'll reduce the courses for a short time. Yeah. And then we will only do what is legitimate, ethical, and affordable. Nice. Okay. Affordability is a big question. Everybody, big. if I have yes. lost money, my employee has gotten lost money, my boss has lost money, everybody. This is a democratic disease. Yes. It's a democratic yes. pandemic. It's not yes. a, which is garibo ko laga, ke amiro ko laga. It's a democratic, yeah. Yeah. It's a democratic yeah. issue. Yes. So it yes. doesn't go to a person or of money or not with the value of money I have a home this is beyond yeah. that yeah this yeah. is boss you are rich you are poor you are fucking in your toilet in your fucking room yeah. you are confined yeah. you are in your jail <laughs> yeah. uh, amiro. everybody is trapped in their own prison yeah okay. absolutely so so will i i want to love to see that luxury comes back Yes. I want to see luxury to come back. But more than luxury, first thing I want to see is people becoming normal. Yeah. It's mentally traumatic. Yes. Three months back, three months back, I could 
scratch my ass in service and get rid of it with it. Now, three months later, I can't even, if I sneeze, I'm yeah. already being watched. Yes, totally. So the people are going to be much more health conscious. People are yeah. watching us. And yeah. the more famous you are, the more vulnerable you are. Yeah, under the the social media, the band is made. Yeah, people are looking like under the scanner. Absolutely, and and the social media is even worse. I mean, they they yeah. are behind you. They are like, they are after you. Yeah, hey, I yeah. say something wrong here. They will mail me and message you, and I'll take a screenshot and make to band it. Banange, tomorrow will be band it. Banange. Go viral, bana dege. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So these are these are the few yeah. things that I think are very important to yes. pursue sustainability. And right now, sustainability is not a fucking topic about green vegetables. Yes. Okay. Sustainability is human now. It's yeah, a human, human problem. Sus- absolutely, absolutely. Our sustainability, from the person who's in the street to the person who's sitting in the top of the penthouse, all yes. have to be sustainable right now. Sustainability yes. over humanity. And look at this. Maja mere ko tabhi aata. We are used to servants, maids. Yeah. Yeah. Ab wo bhi nahi aate na. Ab kya hoga? Khud bhartan do aur khud khana banao. Yeah. I'm doing uh, that also. <laughs> yeah, all of us are. I've been doing that all my uh, like every time, but I like it. But you have to understand, जो लोग over privileged हैं उनकी तो और band बजी है. Yeah, true. <laughs> but that's true. You're right there, um, um, uh, chef. Uh, you know, you have always been a rebel uh, in many ways in the culinary field at least. Uh, yes. What actually drives you to do that? Is it excellence? I mean, I presume it's that. But what what actually drives you to excel, be a rebel? Within what actually drives you and moves you? I think one thing is that uh, I turned forty two this year. Okay. And uh, when I turned forty two, I took a oath. I said I will only do things, and this was. Pre COVID, I mean COVID uh, just started. Yeah. So I said in February that I will do only things that are honest to me, ethical to me, and makes me happy. And the people who I love make them happy. Yes. Yeah. All our lives, and today we all are questioning ourselves that are we yeah. doing what we want to do? I get these messages. There's a doctor, there's a pilot who wants to quit their career and become a chef. I said, bro, first let me get my restaurant back. Yeah. So I think. Yeah. People are right now questioning what they were born for. Was I born to eat or was I born to cook? Yeah. Was I born to enjoy life with my parents' money or was I born to make my own living? Yes. Was I born to have a life which is full of charismatic opportunities and to fight for the poor and the ones who are. Who need you as a rebel, or do you yes. just live your life selfishly? So these are the questions that we ask ourselves. Yes. And I don't. I'm. I'm stop faking myself. If I don't want to take a photo with someone, I will not take a photo. If I don't want to, I will only post right and do things which I want to do. I don't want to do what people yes. want me to do. So that is important. Okay. And also. Same in my okay. personal life, same in my business, and everything. Okay. I don't. I like to give things. I like to sacrifice what I made. Yes. Because if you don't yeah. run, walk the bridges that you cross, you will never yes. burn those bridges. Agreed. Absolutely. And today we are at that point. Everybody is at burning bridges point where you can't yeah. go back. You, you have can't to burn go back. Bridge and go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Chef, I know we will take questions uh, in the middle a little, and then again towards the end. Uh, but um, I, I, I know that music is very close to you at heart uh, because yes. that when when you had Gagan, you actually had that rock uh, meal uh, that yes. we did, uh, which I was totally wowed by and impressed by. Uh, okay. How? How? I mean, what actually made you think of it? How? How it actually? You know, the creativity there was astounding, and also your lick it up, and I mean, there's so many creative things that you've come up with. So, <laughs> I mean, lick it up. You have seen. to see this menu now. It's, yeah. it's completely different now. Uh, yeah. This menu has got so many dishes which are so interactive. 
Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, what we realize is restaurants is socializing. Yeah. And now you so, realize how much we miss it. It's not yeah. just a plate of biryani or feeding our empty stomach. Yes. Yes. What do you like? You like more, of course, the food. But what do you like is when you eat it. Do you like to eat alone in a fucking restaurant? No, no, and no. And no, no. at you, or you want to be in with people you love the most to enjoy every plate. And you see, yes. when you have more people, you can order more. Yes. No, so you can check my Dusreka sharing family style. Yes. You can't do that alone. So socialize. No, you can't. Restaurant was made to socialize. Yes. Because if you look at pre-restaurant era, let's say two, three hundred years back, four hundred years back, that time everybody was cooking at home, and then restaurant became a luxury, and today it's become a necessity. Necessity, yeah. Because we are used to that lifestyle. Yeah. 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 The thing is that because of that, I realized that people also live in this era of mobile phones. And when they come to a restaurant, they spend 90% of the time not with their loved ones, but with the mobile. Ah, yes. More and more so. Yes. WhatsApp, TikTok, but, but, the bullshit. But aren't we also as uh, restauranteurs encouraging people to take photos, put on social media? I do that. I do that. Yeah. But I, yeah. I use it. That's how I use the emojis as menu. That's how I use lick it up. That's why I yeah. made a dish which is in the middle. And getting that into my pop culture. Yes. What I believe in and how to utilize your phone in what I want to get it out of it. Yeah. So that's the trick. Because people are anyway on their phones. You are actually giving them a positive way to actually utilize their mobiles and cameras. Absolutely. And the most yeah. pictures... This is in our restaurant is a middle finger or yeah. somebody's looking or somebody is doing something yeah. or somebody being blindfolded. Yeah. We enjoy playing with their brains. We enjoy them being uh, mentally challenged that the new norm of eating in a restaurant is not about a spoon, fork and a knife. Yes. They don't care whether it's a Versace. You don't pay for the Versace on the table. Yeah. That's gone. That era is gone. Yeah, yeah, now, that's gone. Yes, yes. It's about an experience. The luxury it's is about, about... Yeah, so it's about a sensorial experience. Absolutely. So, when you blindfold, your when eyes are shut. When you're doing when you're tough, your tongue is at work. When you're playing yeah. rock music, your ears are at work. So, it's very interesting how you've actually evolved the whole thing and given that experience to a diner. Yes. Yeah, so I, I, so is your new menu also on similar lines? The new menu, the new yeah. menu is very similar. It's, it's, yeah. it's uh, exactly uh, on these lines. These are uh, menus that are uh, yeah. yes. uh, yeah. trial and tested and being successful. Okay. What okay. I'm doing is not trying to do uh, something very new because okay. Okay. I want to do, uh, first of all, if imagine if my menu was... 8,000 baht. Okay. Now I think I'm, I'm discussing how much. We don't want to make profit. We don't want to uh, serve expensive ingredients. Yes. And make the menu at least 40% cheaper. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. 5,000 baht about. Yes. Yes. Uh, but not. What you cannot afford is expensive ingredients. But you can afford experience. Yes. True. So we will control the expense to give a better experience. Better experience. So yeah. First thing is I want because first of all you don't know what's going to happen. Let's yeah. say in July we open. Yeah. If we open in July, will we allowed to do hundred percent occupancy? No. I think we'll be first reduced to fifty percent occupancy. Yeah. Then there'll be so many cleaning restrictions. Ek table ko move nahi kar sakte. So uh -huh. Looking at everything, your menu, your pricing, and your revenue will be nothing that you used to do. Not but the only thing you can do is at least you can pay people on time. Yes, true. And I want to do that. For next, yeah. 2021, we'll talk about money. Yeah. 2020 is to survive. Yes. Absolutely. Every day is the battle. Yes. And you actually take care of your staff very well. I've actually noticed that personally. Uh, you yes. Know, you treat them more as partners than anything else, which is family. fantastic. Yeah, family. I call them absolutely. my... I, I call them my minions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chef, what is your comfort food? My comfort food is dal, chawal, which I'm both given up. 
because I'm on yeah. a very healthy diet. Yeah. So I've given up proteins and uh, protein from lentils and uh, which are more carbs than proteins. Carbs. Yeah. And uh, and and rice and bread, everything given up. So. Okay. So that is so, and your favorite cuisine in the world. Hey, there's I mean, nothing. No doubt about it. I know it. you like Japanese, Indian. I think Indian is one important, but I like Bengali cuisine. Okay. Being a Punjabi, that's the wrong thing to say, but I like it because I. But I'm you born were born in Bengal. Bengal, yes, born and brought yes. up in Bengal. So, so Bengali food is very close to my heart. Yes. And it's a very underrated cuisine. Yeah, very. Yeah, it got it's got so much opportunity. I have exploded the cuisine so much. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I've actually uh, two. I would give. One, huh? I would give. I would give ten times. Yes. Uh, more. Uh, uh points to uh, a shukto over a biryani yes okay yeah interesting yeah 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 a good so, shukto yeah your own places currently you have a g spot a g spot rather g apostrophe s and arena g can you tell us a little bit about them I think both before COVID was uh, G Spot was my personal chef table, which was nothing to do with G Spot as G Spot, yeah. but basically yeah. where people uh, come it's as Gagan, Gagan Spot. Anand Spotlight, like yeah, yeah, it was yeah, called yeah. G Spot, play yeah. on words. Yeah. But uh, and uh, Arena G was basically an arena where cooking was done in the other part of the restaurant. So the G Spot yeah. was a fourteen di- seat diner where. We looked into the questionnaire of who you're coming. Okay, Samir is coming. What music he likes? Yeah. What does he like to eat? What is his last dish of his life? What you want to eat? What is that? Wow. There's so many indicators. So we knew you yeah. even if before you were sitting, yeah. and uh, you knew nothing what we are going to serve. So it was yeah. a lot of indication. It was a five-hour meal. Wow. And we were sold out for three months waiting list. But yeah. Yeah. Now we are refunding people. So, but uh, one is that. Second was uh, about. Uh, Arena G was where others could dine. So in G Spot, with my complete ego and chauvinism of my restaurant, I would not allow more than two people from the same nationality. Oh. So even Fantastic. so, it was a little, wow. it was a super social, yeah. pure communal where fourteen yeah. people come out of that. If there are seven couples or two strangers in the seven six couples, would not know each other, but they'll end started in the bar, come in, go back to the bar, and the bar was on the house. Yes. It's oh, wow. open bar. Yeah. My restaurant has open bar, which was open bar for the <laughs> all the guest before the dine and after the dine. Yeah. For free. Yes. Wow. So it's Fantastic. no outsiders allowed. If you dine yes. in the restaurant, you get a bar. So yes. that is something in the open bar concept. So uh, I mean, uh, how much people will drink after twenty five courses? Think yeah. about it. Yeah. Absolutely. But there were, there were but there were times when we had to weekly take people into a car and drop them so My there have God. been instances <laughs> I mean, people it's once in their lifetime so yeah. that was and the other one the group of four six eight uh, six uh, restaurants with the family they would sit at arena G, which was also two meter difference from every table from the kitchen so the kitchen was in the center and everything around it so everything it was kind of a chef yeah. table for family yes very nice that that's a very cool. Yes, I read about it, but I said if people so seventy percent of the space in the restaurant is dedicated to the kitchen. Yes, fantastic, uh, uh, chef. You know, uh, we are not talking about restaurants post COVID, etc. After this question, we read out some questions from the comments. Yes, uh, but we are not talking post COVID because we all don't know how it's going to be. Uh, but there are a lot of. It's uh, going to be fine. Don't worry. We won't. No, die no, easily. no. But I'm I'm just saying there are a lot of restaurants in India. Uh, who actually take up upfront a certain amount now to survive and then give value of X plus Y. So, for example, uh, I am giving um, 750 rupees but getting value of 100 Indian, uh, 1000 Indian rupees. So, I am actually okay. getting value of 250 but that has helped the money inflow, cash inflow is helping my restaurant survive now. And they That's good idea. Any time till end of the year. Is that a good idea? Would you do that ever for you know your places or what is? We your, we tried, of, but I think yeah. I don't know. I mean, um, I hope I don't have to beg. But one, if I have to beg, I will do it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I I I I you can do it, but you can't do it in fine dining. It's it's not possible. Yeah. 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 Really. And and uh, India is a very big domestic market. 
And yeah. here it's a completely different market. In India, I can't sell a menu at eight thousand. In India, I can't open Kaga no. Nanan. So it's it's completely ball game, different ball game. Yeah. I am trying to focus more on uh, what's next. Yeah. And not thinking about uh, how to gather the money. Cash flow. Or, uh, yeah. Cash flow. Yeah. I mean, I mean uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy. If this yeah. doesn't, if there's a second wave or a third wave, then I don't know. Then I'll ask for a job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I'll I'll fight down. I'll go down fighting from the la- every penny I have to save yeah. my restaurant and my team. Yeah. Like I have, let's say, eighty people working with me. Yes. In a in a in a fifty five seat restaurant. Yeah, amazing. Okay. Yes. Amazing. Now I they all walked out with me from the old restaurant. Yes. Now. I know that. Yes. From that period to now, I have a choice. I said, "Hey, bro." I can't afford you, bro. I can afford you, bro. I can do that filtration. But I today we had a meeting and I said we will do our best to survive. Yes. And the day when I have no money and none of us can survive, we'll close the restaurant. Yes. So at least we'll go all together. We all together. together. Yeah. We'll all together. Yeah. There's no yeah. guy who's been fired. Fantastic. Nobody I will think. be fired. No one will be fired. Yes. It's, it's not the right thing to do. Ethically, yes. I can't. I can't sleep in my home, living in a nice house, and then thinking that no, I can't. I don't have those ethics. Yes, fantastic. I wish I should as a businessman, yes. but I am not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, fantastic. Okay, let's take some questions. Uh, Dow Dow asks, how did you cope with your family expectation at first? Who asked? Dow Dow. D O U D H O U. Family expectation about what? I'm uh, on what situation? Yeah. So Dow Dow kindly clarify that. I I guess before you weren't married and then you got married. Uh, you know, had the family and that. Can I not do any personal questions, please? Yeah. Okay. It's a no personal question. I mean, uh, this is very personal because I'm I'm going through certain things in life that I don't want to talk about. So I don't think so. It's it's a good time to answer. Okay. When people will know, they will know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Jane Ankit asks how to still manage and pay a very small bunch of employees. As in, since I'm also a very small baker, I don't want to lose them, but I can't afford them. How to grow and survive? Okay. There are two things. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, Jane Ankit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jane Ankit, the first thing you do is uh, uh, survival is very important. So talk to your team and. See how much money you have and divide yes. that to five months. Okay. If you have twenty, sell is your bonus. So yes. four will be distributed for next five months, and tell the people. And those who will stay with you were ones who will die with you, and those who will not stay with you, they are the biggest losers in life. And it's a time to test the water. So my thing is, first is, if you are getting hurt, share your hurting. When you are in pain, you go to the doctor. Yeah. When you are in a mental pain, or when you are sad, or you are crying, who do you hug? You the one you love most, who you will heal you. So you have to go yeah. through that process. Okay. It's a time where humans are understanding humans better. Yeah. So I think this is the one thing. Second thing is that. Uh, what is the importance of having certain valuable things in your life? If it cannot help you now, so rather get rid of those things that you can, everything to save the team because this team can get back to you, or maybe better there you are. So everything I have told, I'll sell everything I have. I'll go to bankruptcy. Yeah, that's my way. Okay, Ankita, I hope that answered your question. Um, uh, Sudeep Majumdar asks, apart from shukto, which another Bengali dish you would like to mention that you like? Oh, I like the fish fries. I like the the muri ghanto dal. Yeah. I like the chola dal and luchi. There's so many dishes. It depends. Yeah. Depends on the season. There's so many. Depends. Yeah. I'm yeah. a big Northern Gold fan. I like uh, if it's raining, then I like the begunis and alu chop. There's so much. Yeah. Okay. A uh, food which Shane asked: Do you plan on expanding to the Middle East? UAE is a hotspot for food, and your style would really make a difference. Who said UAE is a hotspot? 
I don't know food with Shane says this. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> If it was a hot pot, I would be there already. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, UAE is quite outdated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I hurted you. Uh, okay. Uh, Krishna seven fifty asks a dish. What inspires you, and what is your philosophy behind it? <sighs> I mean, there's so many dishes. I mean, don't depend. But uh, I think uh, one gagan. I mean, I think one of the most. Uh, uh, The the I think the best thing to define me is the madness, not one dish. It's my craziness into giving people an experience that is not faked. Fine dining could be a very uh, fake, yeah, fake, uh, artificial, over mannered. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lick as British attitude. Yes. So get the fuck out of it. Yes. Just enjoy. It's not that you are coming and I'm paying you and behave like that Parsi Baba. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 yeah. yeah it's not that. It's not that. Yeah. It's yeah. not that. It's not that. It's in between. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a. You and my concert, you bloody fucking dance. Yeah. I'm created the music for you to dance. So you bloody fucking yeah. dance. If you don't know how to dance, then don't come to my concert. Yes, true. Agreed. I like that philosophy. Fabulous. <laughs> Uh, uh, chef, uh, uh, you are associated with uh, Kalyani. Uh, 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 the recent launch you did in uh, Kalyani culture. Yes, Kalyani culture. Tell us something about it. We'd love to know more. Uh, Kalyani culture is uh, effort by Veer and uh, Samir, and I'm just. Uh, yes. I'm just a freebie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> free me, khaunga. Free me, aunga. Free me, piunga. Free me, chala jaunga. I love it. So I think I, I I'm there to have fun. I think it's yeah, yeah. But I hope they survive this COVID, and I hope when this is over, they can come back and help people. Yes. No, absolutely. I I think that is. Uh, Very important. Okay, Ria uh, Niyati asks, "What is the future of regional fine dining in India or regional cuisine?" Ah, uh, Niyati, Niyati five. I think that fine dining is fine food. I always yeah. say this biggest mistake is fine dining is not a bloody bubble, giving gas or smoke or something <laughs> bullshit like that. Uh, for me, a fine dining thing is that if uh, if I get something, uh, a puri. Uh, puri should be not oily, perfectly yeah. fried, and the moment it put in your mouth, it's the best puri in your mouth. Yes. Fine dining means fine dining, means finest quality of food. Yes. Not a achar that was made, bought from a pickle bottle and put into a into a thing, but achar homemade, homemade yeah. achar. Every home has their achar. This is yeah. fine enough. Yeah. Today people buy books on fermentation. Ghar ka achar bhul gaye ho kya boss? Yes. So people are, are, are the fine dining explanation is not के आपने कोई एक गांव में जाके कौन सी सब्जी ला दी को which nobody ever thought about I think so no yeah. first we are right now this is the time to wake up and give the best pav bhaji yeah. why in Mumbai why in Mumbai and after COVID he asked this question to everyone. I'm behaving like Anna Goswami. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why, why, why in the government? Why after COVID era will we go? We'll go back to we'll go back to this incredible uh, uh, time that we will not be even in the street, man. Yeah. Because we'll be scared of the poor people. Yes. Ah, koi thara visa hoga to wahan to jayenge nahi ham. We are phobic, na? Yeah, it's like very controversial. But after 9/11, if there was anybody yeah. who was Muslim on a flight, people would be scared. Yeah, yeah. we are phobic. We are fucking idiots. Idiots. Yeah. Humans, human. We have forgotten humans to be humans. We consider them as animals. So, yeah. if I was a chef in Mumbai, I will create the best pav bhaji, which people will avoid in the street, cannot get in the street, to get it in a restaurant which is hygienic, clean, and healthy, uh-huh. but tastes exactly like that pav bhaji. Yeah. That is fine dining. Redefining your food is fine dining. Yes, interesting. Yes. Yeah. 
Chef, do you actually see uh, this is just uh, 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 you know landlords collaborating with restaurateurs to actually uh, be on a uh, revenue share model? I hate that. Who the fuck are no? you? You just own the piece of land, yeah. I don't like it. Okay. It's like uh, you are my water, so I am the fucking shark. Uh, I hate okay. it. Okay. Yeah, okay. what have you done? You just made the place. <laughs> I hate yeah. that. That's why I'm not open in India. This yeah, one yeah, of the reasons yeah. I could not yeah, open in India. That's why I asked you. Yeah. I hate yeah. this attitude. Who are yeah. you? Just a landlord. Just pay your rent, man. Yeah. You're not a capitalist. The problem in India is everybody is a capitalist. Yeah. You want to enjoy others' success. Yeah. Today, my problem with my partners was because they wanted to eat ghar ki roti free me. Yeah. And I used to bake the cake into a four kilo cake, and they would take three kilos and not thank yeah. me. Thankless. My God. That's what you people are. So thankless attitude in India is very wrong. Yes. Yeah. After all, landlord ka. The problem is what will the property bubble burst? How many landlords can actually create successful restaurants? Yeah. None. Yeah. None. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So that's the problem. Our ethics of business are wrong, and our way of. Uh, I like this question. Would you cook for Anna Goswami? Yeah, I would cook for her, Anna Goswami. I like yeah. him. <laughs> that guy is a fucking gutsy motherfucker. Yeah, uh, I like yeah. him. Yeah. He, he does. So, he does. I love him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> India wants to know that I can go for another one. No, but uh, what what inspires you when you actually create a dish or a menu? Because uh, uh, you know a lot of people are asking that. So I mean, how does your mental state life. actually think? Life. Yeah. Life is the biggest inspiration. What do you do? Yeah. There are two things. Yeah. From coronavirus. You can make the stupidity, yeah, and you think it's provoking to make yeah. something look like the coronavirus, white yeah. color with red red. That's the worst thing ever. It has killed people. People have gone yeah. down to streets. It's the worst sentiment to worst. touch. Yeah, but what we did is we decided is we will make a map of the world. Ah, uh. we'll play the song called "Heal the World." Okay, by Michael Jackson. Yes. Okay. And we will put all the colors of uh, uh, of pride movement, rainbow. Yes. Yeah, the rainbow colors. Yeah. And you will lick the world. Okay. That's the new lick it up dish, where wow. you heal it. So we've taken this as a positive moment. We've yes. not taken this. It's the same thing. How do you project? You lose a match. You are a good winner, and accept that you lost it. And be more graceful than the one who won it and became an asshole. Yes. So I think that is very important in inspiration. Inspiration yes. is a two-way blade. Yes. It's a two-way sword. You cut it, or you get cut. Yes. So you have to be fair enough. Yes. If you teach, uh, and this has been my success when I made yes. the idli or the dhokla or anything that I did, yes. I always yes. tried to not. Make a twenty-five-year-old foodie, who I call an amateur. Okay, mm. not that, because my target is an eighty-year-old grandmom, okay. who has been doing a dhokla for twenty-five, uh, for, for from the age of twenty probably yeah. for sixty yeah. years, yeah. and for sixty years, and then she asked me, "How the fuck did you do that dhokla? Is kya recipe hai?" And I say I did it in microwave in 25 seconds. Yeah. And she laughs. <laughs> yeah. But I was not joking. But yeah. this is exactly what I say. How people perceive inspiration is in our life. I am born, and I'm lucky, and I'm very happy that I'm an Indian, <laughs> and I'll die as an Indian with an Indian passport. And this is exactly what I represent, my country, in every bite that you do. And that's why we make people lick the plate. हम चाटते नहीं अपने हाथ को. अब गांव में खाओगे तो people eat and they they lick their hand. Yeah, it's the most yeah. dirty thing. Yes. But it's the most Indian thing ever. Yes. Our problem is we have to spoon and fork and chopstick. Or what? Roti खाओगे chopstick से? हाँ. नहीं. Chef.
Chef, so do you ever look at an ingredient and get inspiration from that? As you said, you get inspiration by life, but do also ingredients or produce inspire you? Uh, I mean, life. I think it, it's a very it's a, it's a song can inspire me. Yeah. A, a, a moment that defines my emotion can inspire me. Yeah. If yeah. I love something, I'm I'm cooking for a person who yeah. I like to cook for. Yeah. And for example, at personal table, so I will like to use only ingredients that the person likes. Yeah. I if I want to use onions and garlic and chicken and and truffles and that is what the person likes, I'll cook that. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. But I hate uh, non-seasonal products. Yes. I would not use a gajar ka halwa in summer. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I will do a gajar ka halwa ice cream in winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the gajar is in the season of the best season, so carrots, yeah. red carrots are in in winter. Yeah. And and uh, do you uh, uh, do you actually get a lot of produce Indian produce in Bangkok directly on a regular? You adapt. You adapt. You adapt. Okay. You, you adapt. adapt. But yeah. first thing what I did was, and not because I was a. Uh, ration ki dukan, but yeah. I bought 400 kilos of Indian rice, <laughs> what was available in Thailand, yeah. in the first week of March. Because we know that India is not going to come. Ah, ah. So 400 kilos of chawal, but 300 kilos are left. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and they're eating properly. Say, please use Rocky and Mayur. Please use ideas from cuisines of the northeast of India in case you haven't already. I have bamboo in my menu. Yes. Okay. So is that helping you? But I've made it into a <laughs> but I made it into a vindaloo because I pickled the bamboo. Fantastic. Dish. Yeah. It's a pickling dish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, chef, there was a point of time where you actually mentioned uh, Japan as a country where you would explore opening up. And hey, Rafa. Point... Sorry, I have to give a friend to my Rafa. Rafa yeah. is my friend. From, he's a chef from. Uh, from Brazil, from okay. Rio. Hi, Rafa. Rafa, amazing guy. Yes, and Rocky and Mayur, I miss you guys. Yeah, but good, <laughs> good. Yeah. So I think one of them is in Delhi, one of them is in Goa. Rocky and Mayur. Yeah, so I think Rocky is in. Um, I, th I think Mayur is in Goa. Mayur, I, uh, if I'm correct, and Rocky is. In I don't know, maybe the And also, way. I was in one time trying to create the chicken curry with black sesame, Assamese style. Ah, uh, Assamese style. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah. but to be honest, I have never tasted a dish, so I didn't do it. Yeah, uh, okay. I would not like to cook something from uh, my knowledge or a book or an internet. I would first yes. like the dish, taste it, feel it and then cook it. Yeah, because I know when you visit India, you're traveling all the time. Yes. And actually tasting food from everywhere. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, Chef Anurag uh, from uh, Qatar. I miss you too. I moved to Goa. Um, yes, black sesame, fermented soybeans, pork. Fermented soybean is in every Thai dish. <laughs> in the name of soya sauce. <laughs> soya sauce, yeah, yeah. Pork, yeah, yes. Yeah. I love pork. I love pork also. I love Northeast. Actually, I like Mizoram and that place. And there's a lot of yes. things there. A lot of things there. Yes. Uh, is there anything from Kerala cuisine? Kerala. Sir, I love Kerala. There's a bee in my new restaurant. There's a lot of Kerala food. I've studied in Kovalam. So, Maharashtrian cuisine. Have you tried? Well, uh, I came to Mumbai and I hope Mumbai is in Maharashtra or you've taken it out. Nilima. <laughs> <laughs> hey, India will divide and rule, right? Absolutely. Chef, after, How? Uh, yeah, tell me. At one point, you were uh, 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 a little gung ho on Japan. Hi, Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Japan. Yeah. No, you were planning to open there at any point of time. I am still planning, but COVID has taken toll. So, yeah. but I was, I'm, I'm, I was doing a mistake of shifting there, which I won't do, because I have this okay. responsibility of eighty lives with my head. Yes. So, so I think. Uh, I would have become the most selfish person leaving them and disowning them and I think this last eight months have taught me a very valuable lesson. Okay. It's like 
even if I'm 42 and my mom is 65, yes, I will still have to listen to my mom's tantrums. <laughs> that beta, ye karo and ye mat khao. Yes. Have you yes. eaten this? Have you not eaten this? I am 42. Mom, I'm good enough, but no. <laughs> but she says, nahi, yeah, yeah, you have to listen. But chef, any plans for India? A lot of people have been asking. I don't know. I, my new restaurant that I launched was uh, Miss Mari and Mr. Singh was supposed to be very uh, made for India kind of a project. So yes. let's see, post COVID. Okay. So uh, you you are also part of re uh, restaurant shooting. Um, uh, you're part of that. My friend Chef Himanshu Taneja is here. Hello, sir. How are you doing, Himanshu? Hi, Hello, Chef you. Himanshu. Himanshu, you know Himanshu, right? Of course. I did yeah, Himanshu and I were in the same room. My name was Gagan Anand. His was Himanshu Taneja. We always was fucking in the same table. We have never made any food. Nobody knows this. Okay. We have stolen food and got the highest remarks. Every wow. day. What did we do? Our third year, me and Himanshu, we used to... This is fucking nobody knows. So, me and Himanshu will take all the ingredients, make our omelette, make everything. And then there were 10, 12 tables. And we used to make our food and we used to get the highest marks. And everybody used to hate us. Ask Himanshu. Yeah. Oh, Chef Paul. Hey, Chef Paul Kini. How are you, I Chef? I cook for you too. <laughs> Is this which Himanshu? <laughs> Stay well. <laughs> this is our Himanshu, yeah. And Paul Kinney, I love you, chef. We met a few days back. So Himanshu and I go 23 years back. Wow. In fact, I just did a live with him last week on this. Yeah, he's a nice five. guy. Very yeah. nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Very, very. And, uh, uh, you know, it's amazing to actually see him. Yeah, uh, you know, sometimes it's also, it's like, you know, that movie, uh, what was that movie? This was Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan and Hrithik Roshan. <laughs> I'm thinking. Koncha. Mohabate? Mohabate? Ah. Kabi Kushi Kabi Gam? No. Kabi yeah. Kushi K3G. I don't know. Amita Bachchan, Shah Khan. Okay. No, Whatever the fucking movie was. For 20 years, for ah. so 20 years, we were like, uh, I love you, I love you, but I hate you, I hate you. And then after 20 years, you say, Are, yaar, sorry, yaar. I always love you. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> so, these kind of things happen with friends. Yeah, yeah. So, Chef, do you miss India a lot when you're actually in Bangkok? I miss, I, I really miss now India because... Uh, yeah. uh, but I think so. Uh, I think uh, my last trip to, to, to anywhere before I go with quarantine what happened was to India so yes, I know. yes. yeah <laughs> Himanshu is threatening me don't start now <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, we, we, we've been Himanshu and me were the, one of the naughtiest guys in the whole fucking <laughs> West the, the I, I can't imagine Himanshu naughty but uh, obviously he was <laughs> yeah he was uh, I was naughty but he was uh, he was a uh, he was an I, accomplice. I was, I was a, I was a pura harami and he was harami in making. So. <laughs> <laughs> Influenced by your chef. <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely. <laughs> a com uh, any mentor chef that you have had in the past? Oh, mentor chefs. I mean, uh, no, any mentor, whether it's a chef or not a chef. Anyone I think there are many coaches in life that I have. Uh, uh, there are many uh, coaches. Uh, it doesn't have to be a chef. Anyone. Yeah, I think there are many people who inspire you. So for me, music is my biggest men mentor. Okay, okay. But any particular uh, artist like Def Leppard, uh, 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 Dave Grohl, Foo Fighters. Yes. Who taught me that after Nirvana you could have. Yeah, yeah. Open something yeah. and you become a front man from the back end. Absolutely. I mean that is very important. Uh, yeah. uh, this is a very important thing. Then I also like us about. Uh, uh, I know that. If I say this, people will think I'm an idiot or I'm over bucked or something. But I like Gandhi as a person. Okay. He's taught something. Uh, if you really read about Gandhi, how he fought. I mean, yeah. I'm not historian. And I'm sure yeah, some yeah, idiot yeah. Yeah, will come and tell me, yeah. Sala, tu yeah. hota hai wala. Uh. So for them, I have to show them my Indian passport. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. So this is my fucking proof that I'm an Indian. Indian. Okay. Yes. Okay. And Khun Gagan written means Mr. Gagan. Okay. And this is my Indian passport nationality, and it's still valid. Okay. So I'm a yeah. fucking Indian. So yeah. I can say because I'm my father of my country is Gandhi. So yeah. I think. Uh, okay. So don't fucking challenge me that you don't know Sare Jahan Gandhi. Yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or uh, Jana Gana Mana. Okay. So please don't do all that bullshit. Uh, but yeah. what I really want to say is that I'm. Uh, I like Gandhi because uh, uh, it has taught me how to be patient. Yes. Like I really like the way he fought for salt. Yes. I'll be. Yeah, today uh, salt has become the biggest uh, corporation. Yes. Okay, and uh, salt has also become. <laughs> Imagine, everybody, I am a rebel, but I will never hurt my enemy with, uh, physically. I mean, physical yeah. pain. You put a bomb. You put a cast on your broken. You do a stitch. You're gone. Mental pain. is so satisfying yeah yeah <laughs> mental pain that person every person who's lost me in their life the pain they have i can see in their eyes i can look through and that's the most important part and that's the biggest inspiration so i really like gandhi many people don't like gandhi they will talk bullshit about it but i am a bigger fan of him because i don't care into what people are and how they are but what i think is that uh, giving your face And right now we are in that situation, so we need to understand patience yeah. and meditation. Yeah. So we are in this yeah. situation. You slap me here, you slap me there. Covid jaga is not going to go. You pray to be more peaceful. You don't pray so that covid can go. Covid will not go. You have to make your mind more in peace, and that's where God will help us. Yes. Yes, he's the father of a nation. Somebody is reminding me he's the father of the nation. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, chef. There are a lot of culinary schools in India, and there are a lot of these young uh, chefs coming out of it. Uh, a lot of them look up to you. Any advice uh, that you could actually give them, which would help them on their journey? I think uh, culinary schools. Please don't go to a money-making racket. And that's why I'm not associated myself to any culinary school. I yeah. always am a fan of IHMs. Okay. And uh, I always believe that uh, going to a, a proper reputed school where it's difficult to get an admission and money cannot buy you an admission is the, the school yes. you should go. Okay. A culinary school where money cannot buy you an admission. How yes. about that? Okay. So what advice school? would you give? Uh, what advice would you give those chefs uh, or to be chefs at IHM across the country? I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be IHM. Not everybody gets a chance. No, no, no. I, I'm just saying. Just yeah, yeah. An example. I mean, yeah, any, yeah. any. I think. I think what is any, very important any, is. Uh, any. No, no. Yes, but I'm just I, asking your your advice for their journey ahead because it's going to be a tough journey. Like this is one person. Subham is asking. Do you think? Cool is take a knife and fucking cut and cook. Okay, you've trained to be a pilot. You have to fly. Yeah. So you don't have to study more to fly. Stop being a buddy bookworm. Cooking is about touching the ingredient, feeling it, and I think that's the most important advice. It answers your question too. Cooks yes. have to cook, and I hate the chefs, so-called. I was looking at this Instagram profile of a person. I don't know how I got tagged to it, but yeah. there are people who won competitions. In social in 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 India in life competition of uh, whatever, chef, master chefs, blah blah blah, yeah. and have two million followers, and call them as a chef. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the biggest crap. Yeah, yeah. They are not chefs. Yeah. Not everybody can be a chef. Can no, you be a no, doctor no. if you win a reality show, doctor? Yeah. And even not a doctor, can you save a life? Yeah. You can't. So it's a very skilled job. We yeah. sacrifice decades, not years, decades to understand what food. And still today I'm learning. Today yes. I'm learning. You yeah, know, I'm yeah. going to do. I'm going to do a course on coffee roasting. Wow. Yeah. So wow. that's my new hobby. I mean, coffee. Yeah. So. So I think okay. it's very important. You yeah. have learned the skill. You've learned to be a, a chef. Now. You have to fucking focus on your cooking, your craft. 
Yes, and be yes. the best that you can yeah. be. Yeah. I hate Chef, what celebrity chefs. Three chef. minutes left because in one hour it cuts off. Yeah, so it cuts off. I have two questions that I want to ask you. Question number one: uh, There are a lot of regional home cooks. Uh, uh, which are there who have not gone undergone any formal training. We deal with a lot of them and work with a lot of them. I think Some they are extremely the good examples. They are extremely good examples. So Sorry, I can, yeah. I can. Yeah, they are good examples. They are good to run a restaurant, and they are good to run. A, uh, but you have to understand that uh, a chef is a very qualified job. Yes. <laughs> not that I'm arrogant, but it's a chef. So you can't call yourself a chef. You call yeah. yourself a home cook. My mom is a great home cook, and I yes. wish she was a chef, but she's not yes. a chef. Yes. Okay. She's not a chef. Yeah. She She's cannot fillet a fish. Cook. She yeah. cannot fillet a fish. Yeah. She cannot uh, make a. I mean, you can make a face on a cupcake, but that doesn't make yeah. you a chef. Yeah. True. I I think that's well said. So, chef is someone who's actually gone through the formal education, who is taught techniques and flavors, etc., and not just learned at home and from their grandparents. Love you, Rocky and Mayur. Yeah, I love you. I, I don't still waiting for you both to come to Bangkok. <laughs> Lying fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know who is handling uh, the hand. Yeah, one, one of them, of but them. they'll get the message. Both of them. Yeah, yeah, that I know. Good. Sweethearts. Uh, yeah. At our last awards, actually, they were there as the jury members, so they came down to Bombay, uh, great, flew great. down to Bombay, and they were there. With yeah, us. we have one minute more. Yeah, one minute more. <laughs> so, guys, any few last questions, uh, professional questions, more so to do with culinary, that you have to ask Chef uh, Gagan. Uh, Dilip Joshi, we've already addressed that on... Uh, Don't open a restaurant, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't open. Now, don't go invest. Yeah. Hey, Ranvi Bra, Ranvi Bra was one year senior to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Food delivery chain still on, virus spreading chain stop, I don't know. Uh, food delivery guys handle hygiene, wear gloves, India doesn't know hygiene, I've seen videos, it's pathetic. Yeah. Guys, uh, you will not be qualifying in world level. So, I think hygiene is very important. Yes. How to create a recipe, I don't know how to fucking create a recipe. <laughs> 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 Coming to England, I mean, where? Can I go to work first? <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Thanks, Sami. Great opportunity. Thank you, Before Chef Gagan. Thank take you care. for being Thanks with for us at Live at Five. And Love you all for joining me. Thank you, man. Thank Cheers. you, everyone, for joining in. And Thanks. see you soon, Chef. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Guys, so that was a fantastic session with Chef Gagan Anand. Uh, we thank him for joining us and it's always a pleasure. Uh, tomorrow, we have uh, Chef Atul Kocha who's joining us at 5 on Live at 5. Uh, so please tune in and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.